This has been brought to you by Cinema Squad. Hey guys, uh, it's Cole here bringing you yet another app review with my three judging partners. Guys. What's up? Hey, what's up? Well, hi there. And uh, we are reviewing BJive IM for the iPhone. Uh, this app is uh, $16.99, I believe, in the App Store. And it's got a four and a half star rating. You might be saying, wow, $16, that's pretty expensive. Yeah, but uh, it's one of the best uh, apps, uh, IM apps in the uh, I, the App Store. Uh, it supports uh, AIM, Google Talk, ICQ, Jabber, MSN, MySpace IM, and Yahoo Messenger. I'd like to see more show up on it, like Skype and SIP and all that stuff that has been so popular around now. <clears throat> uh, some things that set this apart from other apps that have IM clients is you can actually do it in widescreen. Well, most chat apps you can't do it in widescreen. Like if I wanted to say hello to this person that's not online right now, uh, and I wanted to go landscape, it would actually go landscape, and that's uh, one of the things you just can't do with a regular app, with a re like all the other like Fring and uh, I am Plus. They they can't go sideways. Uh, and uh, guys, you had some things to say about it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think it works well, and it does exactly what it's uh, what it's purpose to do. I mean, in addition, it also ha it also has a few other bells and whistles, like being able to edit your buddy list from the app and set customizable alert and vibrate settings. I think this is awesome. Yeah, I think it's a little overpriced. I mean, most apps are free, and this is sixty nine hundred. But it's good. You can have AIM, Google Talk, Yahoo, and Instant Messenger running all at the same time, so you can receive messages. This time, the editing account, signing up, creating an account is easy. Editing your account is easy. It's a, there's an account tab which is available on every screen. Uh, I mean, it, it's really the best uh, I am app for the iPhone. Yeah, I like, check this out. Okay, I want to change my buddy icon. All I've got to do is it pops up this little camera right here, and I can smile. And there we go. I use uh, it's a terrible picture, but I'll use it. Uh, well, that's a very bad picture. My eye looks lazy. I have a lazy eye. Oh crap! Dang. What the, oh shoot! Why? How did I do that? Well, anyways, uh, yeah, that's. Uh, guys, what do you guys give it for a one out of five rating? Uh, okay. Uh, usability, I give it a four out of five. Value, I give a zero out of five. Utility, I give four out of five. And for aesthetics, I give a four out of five. So a general My overall... overall rating is three out of five. All right. And Google Plata? Okay, I'm just going to go with... I'm just going to go with an overall. I'm just going to... I'm going to give it a four out of... Well, actually, I'm going to give it a four. Because solely on the price. The price alone is what makes it go down for me. I would give it a five stars if it wasn't for the... If, I think that's a little high. Yeah, so the price is definitely a problem because not everybody out there has 17 bucks to blow on an IM chat app. It's a little too much. We'd like to see that come down, but hey, we can say this is the best app out there. There's no competition really because the other apps generally suck. But uh, yeah, I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5 because. Uh, it's got great functionality, but the price is just dead terrible. Alright, until next time. Four to five for Andrew, too. Till next time, uh, this is Colby's app reviews. Send in your requests and I'll do them. Thanks and see ya.